March is National Women's Month which is part of the worldwide observance of the International Women's Day. The annual activity was established through Proclamation No. 224 and 227, Series of 1988, and Republic Act 6949, Series of 1990. The theme for this year's celebration is We Make Change, Work for Women, a precise depiction of President Rodrigo R. Duterte's commitment of true compassion and real change. The theme speaks of strengthening the implementation of the Magna Carta of Women through our active engagement and collective effort, thereby initiating women empowerment, leading them to become agents of change and development. The Philippine Commission on Women has organized activities to celebrate Women's Month like Massive Information Campaign, Women's Summit, Online Presence, and a Film Festival. The Overseas Workers Welfare Administration is an advocate of gender equality and the promotion of gender and development or GAD in the workplace including the hiring of its personnel. The number of hired female employees outweighs the number of men. It only shows that more and more women are given the opportunity and the chance as they show their wares and expertise in their chosen field of endeavors and specialization. In order to address and attend to the welfare and labor-related issues concerning the plight of women, specifically those employed in the area of service or working as household service workers or HSWs, OWA assigned female personnel in the high-risk areas in the Middle East countries to cater to the female clients since the female OWA welfare officers or administrative staff are able to identify with the women's predicaments. OWA consistently participates in the annual celebration of the event and has undertaken various activities like fora on gender and migration, film showing, and the like. OWA's commitment in advancing the rights of women migrants will be strengthened in the coming years as the new OWA Act stipulates for the creation of gender-responsive programs and package of services for women migrants. The highlights of this year's celebration of National Women's Month is the Parangal sa Mga Natatanging Kababaihan, which aims to recognize the meritorious efforts and contribution of women in the development and empowerment of migrants and their families. This event will feature and recognize their journey in pursuing success in their chosen fields that led to positive changes and development in their communities. OWA will confer recognition to 17 women OFWs nominated by accredited OWA family circles and a woman leader of an NGO who generously devoted their time in championing women's agenda, particularly women migrants and their families. Our awardees have indeed proved that gender knows no bounds. Their accomplishments speak of their burning desire to pursue their aspirations, passion to serve, and fortitude to empower others. OWA will continue to champion women's agenda and support gender and development to transform and empower overseas Filipino workers, especially women migrants and their families. OWA, make change, work for women. Her meritorious leadership on the regular holding of livelihood trainings for women organizations has immensely contributed to the improvement of their barangay. She is Ms. Mirna B. Garcia of the Cordillera Administrative Region. An active leader and founder of the Marikina OFW Family Circle Association Incorporated, she is dedicated in promoting OWA programs and services to empower the OFW family circles in their community. She is Ms. Ernita S. Santos of NCR. She actively participated in the formulation of policies, programs, and services affecting the migrant workers and their families, particularly women and marginalized OFWs. She is 
Miss Edna B. Valdez of La Union. She conducts family development sessions to four peace beneficiaries. She is a woman leader, one of the most sought trainers in food processing as a means to advance livelihood and business among women in the 24 barangays of Peña Blanca. She is Miss Jocelyn T. Danau. As a staunch advocate of women's health, she spearheaded various outreach activities and medical missions to raise awareness on breast cancer, pap smear, and breastfeeding. She is Miss Priscilla S. Cruz of Region 3. Her selfless dedication and prompt service made her well-known and trusted in their community, particularly on cases involving assistance for women, their children, and PWDs. She is Miss Marilyn Ligot of Calabarzon. She engaged herself in various social civic activities concerning health, peace, entrepreneurship, gender equality, with much focus on women's rights, and shares her knowledge through providing trainings and orientation on women's rights throughout the country. She is Miss Edna R. Madrigal of Mimaropa. Believing that women and men are equally powerful, she engaged herself in moral and spiritual upliftment of indigent mothers to inspire them. She is Miss Lolita Di Tadeo of Iriga City. As a supporter of economic empowerment among women, she diligently devoted her time in imparting knowledge to women migrants and their families on how to manage and grow their resources. She is Miss Alicia Di Refol of Region 6. Because of her aspiration to mainstream women empowerment, she engaged herself in fora and discussions about the Magna Carta of women in the grassroots level. She is Miss Marcelina C. Castillon of Region 7. As an education advocate, she tirelessly shared her expertise and imparted skills to migrants and their families to enable them to start a livelihood. She is Miss Maria Melba L. Esquibel of Region 8. She stood up against adversities in life and dedicated her time in raising awareness among migrants and their families on their rights and benefits. She is Miss Bernadette D. Cedillo of Region 9. An advocate of education, she involved herself in various migrants' ministry works and church-based activities, coordinating with OFCs on the conduct of seminars on values formation, self-assessment, and personality enhancement among children of migrant workers. She is Mrs. Flor Tizon Victoriano of Region 10. Through her active involvement as an OFW leader, she was able to showcase the best practices and undertakings of their OFW group that exemplify volunteerism towards the improvement of their community. She is Maria Carmelita J. Ancheta of Region 11. She wholeheartedly engaged herself on activities that advocate women and children's rights, including promotion of health and wellness among migrant families. She is Miss Priscilla A. Panzo of Region 12. Their community radio station has been an instrument on the effective dissemination of OWA programs and services, as well as other matters concerning overseas employment. She is Miss Gloria P. Jovita of Caraga. She used her knowledge and skills in hand weaving to empower women, forming a core group of skilled handloom weavers and developing the industry into a profitable business venture as well as preserving the Maguindanawan cultural heritage. She is Miss Tahani Muhammad Dalmaob of ARMM. She has been an executive director of ATICA for six years and involved in various researches, module development, and published several books on migration-related issues such as Financial Literacy Training Manual for OFWs and their families, 
She is the representative of the women's sector in the OWA Board of Trustees. She is Miss Estrella Maidi Año Nuevo.